there. My name is Brad Smith, owner of Automation Links. Been helping 2,500 brands over the last 10 years automate their marketing. If you stick with me to the end, I'm going to show you exactly the blueprint that we use to follow up and market to our customers. So you can use that as a cheat sheet to grow your brand. All right, so let's dive into it. We use a CRM called Go High Level. It does everything from emails to social media posts to tracking all of our leads. If you're not using a CRM for your business, I highly recommend checking it out, but it doesn't matter. Whatever CRM you want to use, use it to help you automate your marketing. Now, when I say marketing automation, I mean something that you can plug in, follow up with visitors, convert leads, and get more customers. And what is that? While you're busy running your business, you don't have time to manually go and do all of this stuff. So we recommend a software like this to automate all of these actions so you can build better relationships with your leads. So here's a view right here of my go high level where you can actually go plan out and schedule your social media posts. I recommend making these as personal as possible, connecting your social media channels, getting that automated and getting those synced across all of your platforms. From there, you could also go and set up different automations. So this is my automation workflow here where we set up automated email follow-ups to continue building relationships with our leads. Once somebody comes in and downloads one of our free lead, lead magnets, they will automatically get these emails where we ask them to confirm their email to make sure it's real. We ask them, we give them the link so they can actually have the full access there. And then from there, we continue following up by providing education and value so they can learn from us. And then when they're ready, they can respond back and fire us. And then from there, we have our opportunities and pipeline where we can track all of the leads and what they're interested in when they come to our site. So from there, we're able to say, hey, this client was interested in this product. Make sure you follow up with them. We send them to our sales team. Then our sales team can move them along the pipeline. Now, many of you might be using something like Calendly. Now, we like to have everything in one place to keep it simple, streamlined in all of our leads. So we use a calendar system to allow people to book calls with us on our website. This will turn them into a pipeline lead and then trigger the automation to even follow up with people. Now, if you're not following up with people after they schedule a call, you're missing out on a big opportunity because that is super important. You build a relationship. So why would you just leave them hanging? Ask them to follow you on social media. Ask them to subscribe to your YouTube channel. From there, embed your calendar links in your website. This helps with SEO. Keeps them on your website longer. Some other cool things you can do is add custom quizzes so you can learn more about this lead before you actually get on the call with them. As an example, based on the questions and answers here, we know exactly what plan we can add these people to when we're on that call. So it's easy for us to have a sales call. From there, it's super helpful to pre-qualify leads when they first come into your business. So we like setting up quizzes. You can go ahead and go through our quiz here. That way we can learn more about you. You can tell us about you and your business and even what project and what you're looking for so we can help you best. Oh, and don't forget about reporting. You need to be able to track how many leads you get, how many visitors, where they came from, and attributing which marketing channels work best for you. So that's one of the last things you want to think about when you're setting up marketing automation is what advertising and marketing is working best for us. How can we continue to push that and scale that? And then in your CRM, you can go through and find those missing leaks, continue to optimize what's working and shut off things that aren't working. From there, you can set up the things like memberships, landing pages, and don't forget to start getting those five-star reviews and asking for testimonials. So when I talk about marketing automation, I'm talking about the entire thing you can actually build out into a system to automatically follow up with all of your visitors, turn them into leads, and most important, turn them into customers. And that's the exact thing. You want to give them things. You want to follow up with them. You want to connect on other platforms. You want to track it. You want to make sure that reporting's in place. That way you can scale and turn up ads or marketing channels that are working. Then you want to ask for reviews and you want to get referrals. That's how a true business grows from a certain point to where they want to be. But like I promised, you stuck with me to the end of the video. I'm left my free guide down below in the first comment that you can grab and you can see exactly all these different channels and how you could automate them for your marketing. The goal is to follow up. So when you get that follow-up blueprint, I hope you go implement that. And of course, let me know if you need any help. Now, this is just a one video of a series of videos that I have for marketing automation. So if you want to learn the next lesson on how to continue automating your business and your marketing, I'm going to place that a video right here. So you can click on it and go check it out. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you on the next one.